they end up back together um, because they never divorced. And now they, they, they together living as husband and wife. So it's, it, it's, it just don't make no sense. If you're going to get involved with someone, get involved with someone that's single and divorced. They're divorced. Because if they're still married, there's always a possibility that they're not finished with each other. Maybe they need to break away so they can evolve and so they, so they can grow. But it's never a good idea to get involved with a married person. Even whether it's through y'all committed adultery together or they separated from their spouse and they end up dating you. Because in the long run, those two can end up back together and where that leaves you. So I'm going to read this article. Sometimes we fall for married people without knowing that they are already married. That is very sad because we only get to realize that we love the wrong person when we have already fallen too deep. Now, decent people will try hard to distance themselves from the person no matter how difficult it is because that is the right thing to do. That's what decent people do. On the other hand, there are those people who will still cling to the married person believing that someday, somehow, their love will find a way. In my opinion, this kind of mentality is not right. It can be admirable, yes, but it is not right. Why? There are 10 reasons I can give you why it's not right to continue living like a paramour. Number one, people will judge you. We're not even going to worry about people judging you. That shouldn't even matter. It should be your morals, your morals and your vows to even make you say, you know what, I can't continue on with this married person because it's just not right. They said people will judge. Those who get involved with married people will find themselves in a situation where they are constantly judged and booed by the people around them. The people don't know the real situation, yes. But the point is when you become someone's lover, you become a home wrecker in other people's eyes. People will always root for the wife or the husband and never for a mistress, and you can't never change that. That is the fact of life, and you just have to deal with it. You chose to be a mistress, so you need to accept that people will judge you no matter that, no matter what. If you go out and buy some clothes, people will have something to say about you. Worse, the humiliation, the humiliation of it all once the wife or the husband learns about your existence, confronts you in front of other people, that is something you constantly need to get ready for. Or even to brag about being with the married man, and he ends up going back to his wife. And now you don't pop all this mess, don't show down and act like a fool, but this man don't even love you. Number two, this is this right here. The person can and will never really be yours. As a lover, you will never feel that you belong to each other. There will always be this nagging feeling inside that tells you this person is not here to stay. He can never be yours. You just don't have the right to claim him because he is not yours in the first place. Of course, we cannot own a person because we are all equal and free. But when a couple is married, they can at least claim to themselves that they belong together and that they are made for each other, husband and wife. He will always refer to me as his wife. I will always refer to him as my husband. As a lover, you can never feel that way towards a person. You can never demand for him to stay every night, even if he wants to. He will always go home where he belongs to his wife and his family. And the ad- also the attitude of a married man, he's not obligated to you. And he would quite say, I ain't got to do, not- do nothing for you and not my wife. Here it is. Number three, you will always have to hide if he's committing adultery with you well you're gonna always be only come out at night time he's not gonna really take you around the family and if he's separated from his wife because his wife left him do adult to adultery he still might not take you around all the family events you might meet the immediate family and guess what they they're not smiling with you they're smiling at they smiling at you because they're saying you thinking you are cool with this family you're not cool with that family. They're laughing at you. If you're involved with a married person, you will have to live with, live your life in secret, especially in matters concerning a relationship. You will never have the pleasure of meeting his friends and family. He can never show you off to the world. You cannot go out holding hands and being sweet, especially if you commit adultery. And when um, me and my husband finally was on speaking terms and... 
we were he was out here visiting me and we was talking to a relative you know what the relative said who's the real mrs giddy so you thinking you made him you know he bung around his mother and his sisters and his brothers and some family members and you thinking oh they like you they laugh and they talking about you and that's on real talk they're not um calling you wifey they're not referring to you as part of their family Number four, you cannot have a future with a married person. Point blank. Whether you committed a adulterous affair with him or her, or whether you are dating him while he supposedly be going through this divorce. You're not going to have no future to with him. Say goodbye to a bright future ahead of you when you get involved with the married person. The person may support you financially and give you a place to live, but a future of you two being together all the time and being happy and free is not going to happen as long as the other person remains married. The time that you spend together will always be limited no matter how much you love each other. Even if the person says he or she loves you, you can never be certain because you know in your heart that he or she will all will still leave you and go back to the family. You cannot marry and you cannot marry an already married person unless they will get a divorce, but even then this can still be legal implications against you. This is it's just no point. And it's just no point. Somebody then they did a survey. What is your stand on illicit relationships? Sixty-seven percent thinks it's bad because you you destroy happy homes, and thirty-three percent said it's sad but it's acceptable. The law is against you, which is number five. In case you have no idea idea about legal implications of getting involved with a married person, let me tell you this: the law will not protect you under normal circumstances. There is a law against corker, binage, or adultery, and whatever is applicable to you, you can get in. Let me go back and read this. There is a law against corker, binage, or adultery, or whatever is applicable to you can get you in prison together with your partner. So you really need to think really hard before you jump into this kind of relationship. Not only are you destroying the family, but you are also destroying your own life with the, in the process. There will be a lot of consequences for your action. The kids of the married couple will, will be greatly affected by the breakup or by the scandal. The legal wife or husband will be devastated and the entire family will crumble, even if the issue involves the other spouse. The fingers will be pointing at you. You will certainly look like the villain. I know that in other countries... The wife can actually um, sue the mistress. So you may want to think about getting involved with a married person. You are dispensable. Being a lover means you are dispensable anytime. If the person realizes that his or her family is more important than you, then you can be easy to remove from their life. It will be easy to stop seeing you when they decide to stay faithful. In the end, they will always choose their legal spouse over you. As painful as it is, you just have to accept it. You should have told yourself that no matter how much love you invest in this illicit relationship, sooner or later you will still go back to your empty bed, alone and broken. The person can easily replace you with another. If the person gets tired of you and chooses to have another mistress, then he can easily replace you. There is nothing certain about illicit relationships. You won't have special treatment. If he can cheat on his wife, who he chooses to spend the entire life with, what makes you think he will be faithful to you when you are just a mistress? Even if the marriage will be over, and even if he chooses you over his wife, there is no guarantee that he will remain faithful to you. He cheated once. He can do it again, and you should not be surprised because you are somehow the reason of his unfaithfulness in the first place. Whew. No wonder Miss Amanda over here, Hadia, did not never want to get involved with a married man. Your child will be illegitimate. This is deep. Now, this is going to be very complicated for the woman committing adultery because if she gets pregnant with another man's child, there will be grave consequences not only for her but also for the entire family. Now, if the mistress becomes pregnant, 
the family of the man might not know anything about it once the child is born it is considered illegitimate it cannot be registered easy under the name of the father if the father is married to someone else that's in some states not all states because some some illegitimate children do have their father's last name even though that father is married to another woman not only that, the tie illicit relationship will become more complicated once a child is involved. In some cases, a kid will likely grow up not knowing who the real biological father is, because sometimes that biological father might just disown the child. Even if the child learns about the father, it is possible that the kid will grow to resent his father because of the situation they are in. And I also know of an incident where a, ch uh, a a man and a woman was in a relationship. They weren't married, but they were common law, basically, because they were together for nine years. And the man cheated and had a child with another woman, but the child did not find out the truth about the affair and what his father had done until he got older, and it really hurt him. It is very painful and destructive. Illicit relationships are always more painful than it is satisfying. It is difficult to maintain. There are no certainties. There is a lot of risk involved. The consequences are great. And it, and it destroys all the people involved. There are more disadvantages than benefits in an illicit relationship. It's just sad. 10. It is always better to love and be loved openly and freely. Why would anyone want to be in a relationship that's a secret? Why would anyone want to be in a relationship where you can't get the full benefits? Because no married man really who still loves his wife is going to give his mistress, his mistress full benefits. When that man died, like people want to say, oh, it's just another paper. A paper don't mean nothing. Oh, yes, it does. Because in reality, a marriage is a legal contract between a husband and a wife. Unless he got a will out there, that wife gets everything that that man has if he committed adultery. And if that wife divorced him on those grounds, guess what? She's going to win. She's going to win. That's why I'm saying adultery is never worth it. It's all fun in the beginning. But when that shakes it known and the consequences begin, it can't destroy your life. The best reason of all is always better to love and be loved without fear and uncertainties. It is always satisfying to show your partner to your family and friends where he or she can feel accepted and love. I would never want to be a mistress and go meet my lover's family and they talking about me once I leave. To be proud, oh, I had his baby. This is my man, but that man is married. That man is still married, five, six, seven, eight years. That man never divorced his wife to marry you. And you proud walking around here, yeah, I got a baby by this married man. Yes, I was sitting in his mother's house. But do you know they talking about you? Do, they, you, do you know they looking down at you? They only being cordial to you because that's their they family member. There's nothing better than planning a future together and ending up exchanging vows at the altar in front of all your people you both love. Why risk everything in an illicit relationship when you can't find a person not married yet who can love you the way you want to be loved? Why insist yourself in a married person's life when you can't be with someone else's priority? Why be an option? Why stick to being a mistress or a lover when you can find someone who is willing to be with you the right way and marry you. And this article was taken from www.peerlife.com. 10 reasons why you should never get involved with the married person. Peace, blessings, and a whole lot of love. God is idea.